What's your first wrestling memory? Like growing up McMahon. What, what, give me, give me a good me- memory so, of yours. I mean, my whole life is, you know, really wrestling was a part of it. But, um, you know, one of my early memories is the first live event that I ever went to. What's that? And, you know, I was in between three and five, you know, I was pretty young. And I remember being backstage. It was at the Philly Spectrum that uh, doesn't exist anymore. And I remember seeing these kids, like I was in this, the back hallway backstage and all of a sudden, you know, my, my dad was working, my mom was working. I was just kind of, you know, nearby. And a group of kids came running down the hall, screaming at the top of their lungs and, and are clearly afraid. And they ran past me. And then I looked to see, you know, what they were afraid of. And here comes George the Animal Steel, <laughs> which, um, you know, he was bald. For people who don't know, he had very hairy back, hairy chest, green tongue. And he was, you know, sort of lumbering, you know, chasing the kids, having fun, really. Um, scared me to death. I screamed. I ran straight for my dad, ran up his leg, buried my head <laughs> in his shoulder, and he started to laugh. And I thought it was so weird because my dad is my hero, right? And he'd yeah. kill anybody who'd, you know, become, you know, potentially do harm to me. And he started to laugh. And he then turned and introduced me to Jim Myers, a.k.a. George the Animal Steel. And it was my first sort of inkling into the world of WWE. So I guess the, the next question is, when did uh, WWE demand its uh, superstars wax their backs? When did that happen? When did we get that? <laughs> that never happened. Wow. And, <laughs> I just, you know, wondering because you well, don't see that too much. that hasn't happened. I don't know if you, <laughs> <laughs> you watch that closely. <laughs> wow. So you have any Andre the Giant memories? Do you get any of that, Stephanie? Yeah. Well, you know, I pretty much uh, grew up with Andre, and, and I considered him, you know, one of my best friends. My mom used to call Andre my Gulliver. And, um, <sighs> gosh, I mean, I used to play. and He broke his ankle. I used to play in his cast. Because it was like the whole the size of my whole body, his ankle cast. Um, Come on, really? I remember after WrestleMania one, you know that was really my father's vision of how was I going to put WWE on the map? What was our Super Bowl? What was our Emmys? What was our, our Grammys? And he came up with WrestleMania, which was this huge, you know, combination of of pop culture and and sports entertainment. Liberace opened the show with the Rockettes. Um, Cindy Lauper accompanied Wendy Richter to the ring. Mr. T actually competed in the main event. Um, You know, Billy Martin was a guest timekeeper. Muhammad Ali was the special guest referee. It really was a who's who. And back then, there was no such thing as social media. Right. Little did I know at the time that my parents had mortgaged everything that they owned to make WrestleMania 1 happen. Um, I, I certainly wouldn't have understood what that meant at the time. So needless to say, there was a big after party at the Rainbow Room, and uh, Andre and I did not feel like participating. So we were sitting outside, and I kind of fell asleep on his lap, and, and People Magazine actually came and took a picture. And my parents wouldn't put let them identify who I was sure. in the picture, but so it said, Andre the Giant just slammed Big John Stud. You know, not the person on his lap or, you know, whatever the caption read. So they mortgaged the the, the future to put WrestleMania 1 on your folks? That happened, Stephanie? Yeah, they mortgaged. So my parents always have a history of, of betting on themselves. Mm-hmm. And, um, and that's exactly what they did. Yeah, they mortgaged everything that, you know, that... I'll say we because <laughs> sure. <laughs> that we collectively owned. Not that I owned anything. No, but, but that's your future, you know? Well, yeah. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.